With 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. Swing vote is like Mr. Smith goes to Washington. If Washington actually came to him, and if Mr. Smith was a moron. The strained setup is that a single father, played by Kevin Costner, gets drunk, stranding his precocious daughter at the polls. Mischievously, she decides to vote in his place, but flees when a computer error makes her think she's been caught. As it turns out, the nation is tied, and their single vote will determine the next president. Kevin Costner deserves credit for fully embodying a character who is, in turns, charming, devoted, stupid, and horrifyingly negligent. The film does a good job illustrating the chaos of a media storm and the way the frenzy for a scoop reduces complex reality to simple-minded slogans. It also functions like Robert Altman's The Player for pundits, featuring cameos from Larry King, Bill Maher, Ariana Huffington, and any other talking head willing to show up. There's too much going on plot-wise, with the political bedlam competing with a broken family theme and a subplot about an ambitious local reporter. After laying America's political crisis bare, the movie then overreaches for a neat and happy resolution. Swing Vote is not a waste of time, but I recommend casting your box office ballot elsewhere. With 91 Seconds on Film, I'm Elizabeth Milnerick. 91 Seconds on Film is heard Thursday and Saturday at 2.20, Friday morning at 9.20, and Friday afternoon at 5.20.